two ladies just fell down the escalator and this Dublin security lady was like, oh no, another Delta passenger. I'm not sure what that means. You think I'm gonna fall down an escalator? We're back, and today we're going premium. We did this last time with business class, but now we'll take three different premium economy flights in a battle of the big US airlines. Marion will be checking out premium economy on American Airlines, Liam will be flying the friendly skies on board United, and I will be back flying Delta. Stick around to see how these premium experiences compare. <laughs> Welcome to Dublin Airport, where today I'm going to be flying Delta Premium Economy. Delta check-in is right behind me. I get priority security, so I think it's going to be a quick start to the day. I'm super excited to try out Delta Premium Economy. It's a new one for me. It's going to be pretty nice on the 767 from Dublin over to New York's JFK. Good morning from London Heathrow Terminal 3. Today I'm flying all the way to Charlotte in the Premium Economy. And you know, usually I'm like your economy kind of girl, but today I'm actually flying in Premium Economy, which I think is very exciting. Well, good morning and welcome to a fairly gloomy day at Heathrow's Terminal 2, the Queen's Terminal, where I'm about to step inside because I am flying with United on their premium economy service. I've never done it before, so I don't really know what to expect, but I'm very excited. Let's go and check in. Check-in done, that was very easy, no line at all, very handy. My first priority check-in ever. There we go, all checked in. To be honest, it still took me a little longer than I was hoping, probably about 20 minutes after getting into the Premium Plus line, but at least I wasn't in economy because that looks like it's gonna take a hell of a lot longer. Check-in was mega easy and efficient, and actually what's quite interesting is that Delta Premium customers get priority security as well as the priority lane for check-in. So I really think that is a notch above a lot of other premium economy products. So a really good start from Delta. Just gone through security and it was long. 30, 40 minutes, like on a normal Tuesday morning. I did not think it was going to be that busy at all. And you know, I think I was already a bit like high on my new premium economy status. And I just assumed I can like, you know, go straight through like with fast track, but mm -mm. No. Now I'm going to do something which is a quirk of Dublin Airport where I'm going to go through US pre-clearance now before boarding my flights. So I'm going to land in the US as a domestic customer, passenger, customer, passenger, whatever we're called these days. Not something about Delta, it's something about Dublin that's going to make this experience that little bit smoother. So my flight is departing from the B gates today here in T2, which means I've got to get the subway over to the departure gate. So come along, that's where we're going. Oh, how do I even I get this? Made it to the gate, gate 23, and I'm so excited. We're gonna start boarding in about 10 minutes. I can't wait to see what this premium economy is really like, and if it's worth it. Okay, so I arrived at my gate, and more importantly, I can see my plane, United's 767-300, ready to take me to Newark. It's an old plane, but she's still looking pretty good, if you ask me. The boarding process has been super chill, so premium select, get priority boarding. It was easy, it was kind of quiet, everyone's relaxed. This is what we like to see as we're boarding a plane. We love to see the points guy logo on every Delta jet. Okay, here we go, moment of truth, about to step on board for the first time. Can't wait to check out this product. Here we go. So welcome aboard my premium select seat on this Delta 767-300. And on first impressions, I'm super impressed. The cabin feels fresh. This is an old plane in its 20s, but it's had a good retrofit. The seats are looking modern and new and actually really nice. I'm, I'm really impressed so far. The seat straight away feels comfortable. It's got that classic Delta padding and stitching on the back. There's three buttons on the side of the seat for recline, footrest and the legrest. First up, the recline. Whoa, 
that, that is pretty decent. And then pressing the other buttons, we get foot and leg rest. And the leg room itself is pretty good on this seat. There's a little remote control here that allows you to control the IFE and call the flight attendants. There's also a plug socket, a universal plug socket and USB outlet for every passenger. An IFE screen in front of you, which is really a decent size. The tray table on this seat comes out of the seat rest. Pull a little button, comes sliding out and it's a nice and sturdy tray table. So here we are, premium economy on American Airlines. The seat feels very spacious. I'm a short person, but still, loads of space here. So let's try for the, the recline. It goes quite far back. Seems very good. You got your table like this, which is quite big. I think this will work. You've got your entertainment. The screen is not the biggest I've seen. Okay, well I've just sat down in my seat, 22A, let me give you a quick first impression. So initially the width and the comfort of the seat feels really good, certainly compared to economy it just feels like I've got a much bigger space to sink into. As you can see there's loads of width either side of me and it's sort of got these slightly high rise armrests that just give it a bit more of that like business class enclosed feel. Behind me I have this purple headrest which you can slide up and down to your liking and then fold in at the corners and oh that is that is nice there's a good bit of support there the all important recline test and see how that compares to economy so there's a little button down here i can use to control let's see how far we go oh and that is actually a really good level of recline definitely better than what you usually get and you know what i could definitely see myself having a little sleep in that position to my left i have the armrest which opens up like this and i can push this button and my tray table conveniently comes across and I can have it one of two ways, either folded in half or if I flip it again, it extends to a bigger size and that is actually very decent indeed. And there is even a little extender like that as well, which I don't really know what it's for, but interesting. On my right side, as you can see, there is the recline button that I've already used and there is also a little footrest button, which once I press it, makes this footrest come up from underneath me and then out in front of me, you can see I have this big IFE screen, which is certainly a step up from economy. You can tilt it back and forth. It is touch screen as well as being controlled by that little control on my armrest. Then down here, we have a little section for magazines, little footrest that pulls down like this, although my legs are definitely probably a bit too long to make full use of that. I don't quite understand what that's for. And then as you can see, I've got a very hefty amount of leg room underneath me as well. Service started super quick. We get in lovely linen tablecloth, uh, some cheese biscuit, bottle of water, a refreshing towel there, and uh, sparkling water. We only just took off basically, so this is a really good start. Not such a good start, I have to throw my entire sparkling water over myself though. We're gonna be very cozy and comfortable here. You can tell this is like massive. You can actually cover yourself completely. Pillow, bit of a random shape maybe. Very soft and nice, I think. This is like a gel kind of memory foamy kind of pillow, very comfy. Is it fluffy? I don't think I'd call this fluffy. It's like a different kind of like texture, but nice. A premium headset. These look pretty decent. These look like they're gonna be noise cancelling. I'll give them a test later. Blanket is soft. Lovely, maybe something more like you'd get in economy. It's not a thicker business class style blanket, but this will keep you cozy on the long cold flight. I've got this Saks Fifth Avenue pillow with a nice bit of branding on it here. And that is definitely passing the Liam Spencer Pluffy rating. Decent quality um, and certainly gonna help me have a little nap later on. And that is a very decent size. It's pretty thin, it's really pretty warm in here and definitely a nice little touch. It does smell a tiny bit funky. I mean, I know it's not the most important thing. It could smell a little bit fresher. Finally, we do have a premium economy amenity kit. Let's take a look at what's inside here. This is by Someone Somewhere. A toothbrush and toothpaste, lip balm, mask, earplugs, and suckies. First of all, we have this eye mask that says hashtag my united journey on it. A lip balm made by Sunday Riley. We have some in-flight grippy socks. 
like to be earplugged if you really want to shut out as much sound as possible. A toothbrush and toothpaste on the Sunday Riley hand cream. And finally, a voucher for Sunday Riley, 20% off. So if you want to go and buy some more products, you can do that as well. So what have we got here? It's a nice little eye mask, some nice hooks. A Radio Bombay hand and body lotion. And earplugs, so like the cutest little Colgate toothpaste I've ever seen. So for someone who's flying economy and not used to like, you know, nice and many kits, this is actually very nice. Where do you think you connect the headphones? <laughs> So lunch has been served, looks like a delicious chicken curry with paratha on top. There's also a quinoa salad and then dessert is a salted caramel ice cream. Also the drinks came around and it's a full size camo coke. Like at this kind of an American thing, like I'm sick of it. Bloody getting those tiny little thimbles. Like, give me a drink, give me like a proper can. That's made me happy. Anyway, I'm gonna tuck in now, see what this is like. It doesn't look huge, but it looks tasty. The food looks lovely. We have a beef here with mashed potatoes, a little salad with the cutest little balsamico dressing, and then a caramel shortbread for dessert. So I can't wait to get to that one. Compared to the plastic stuff you usually get served food in when you're flying economy, that actually makes a big difference. So I've just been brought out my lunch. I've got the harissa chicken along with what looks like a side salad, a few other extras. I have to say it's pretty disappointing. I didn't get a menu uh, in the economy camp today, so we just got a chicken or vegetable choice, which I'm not sure is going to be different to the economy service. It all looks pretty good, and I'm going to get stuck in. Tell you what, that main dish is actually really tasty. We've got lovely spicy chicken, we've got sweet potato, we've got some chickpeas, it's got a lovely fragrance to it, quite tomatoey, lovely king spice. Could be a little bit warmer, but apart from that, that's actually a really tasty dish. I don't have the economy dish to prepare this to, but I imagine that this is a larger selection of food. You know, this side salad can almost be a meal on its own. So the quantity of food given in premium economy is definitely very decent. So this braised beef is actually really good and it feels like more like something you would get in a restaurant rather than actually on a plane. So now it's getting that proper cut through as well. It actually makes quite a big difference. Then it's a little fancy napkin as well. It's small details. Quinoa, feta and sun-dried tomato salad is actually delicious. I am not a fan of sun-dried tomato, it's not really my vibe, but actually this is really good. The chicken curry is top notch, very tasty, nice little spinach thing on the side, rice is fluffy and nice, and the paratha is crispy and juicy, a really nice touch to have alongside this Indian meal, some real Indian bread. This is a big thumbs up from me. Lovely can of Stella Artois. It might only be 11.30, but once we're in the sky, nothing matters anymore, nothing counts. Time is real. So, cheers to what's been a very enjoyable flight so far. Things have become nice and quiet on board now, and I think it's time for the call bell challenge. Hi, uh, can I just get a glass of orange juice? Yeah, Thank you so much. That was pretty speedy. Big thumbs up. Hi, please can I just grab a cup of tea? Pretty quick, it looked kind of quiet. I didn't think anyone was going to come, and no one was going from the back, but this guy came steaming in from the front of the cabin. Quick. I'm 
Hello, sorry. <laughs> Can I please just have an orange juice? Yeah, that wasn't the quickest, but it's not too bad either. Like the, the crew here, they've been incredible and so friendly all the way. So yeah, I'm not going to complain. That was premium economy on American Airlines from London Heathrow to Charlotte. Overall, it's been a really good experience. In my mind, I think it's definitely worth the upgrade from economy. The seat is so much bigger, like for me who's used to, you know, just flying in economy, like the upgrade actually felt like business class. The width is amazing, loads of like leg room, which makes like a big difference on a long flight. And the food as well, big upgrade from, from economy, not only like with the flavors and the ingredients, but also like the presentation itself, the fact that you get proper cutlery. Things I didn't really like was the fact that the USB portal was situated a bit like awkwardly. The table was a bit unstable and I didn't really like the fact that you have to take it from the, the side. The Wi-Fi didn't really work that well either, even though I paid $35 to have access on the whole flight. And one more thing, the fact that track wasn't included, that kind of just ruined the ground experience. But overall, a really good experience. It's definitely worth it. On the whole, this has been a really solid I think the personal space I've had the entire duration has been really appreciated. And the cabin itself has just felt quiet and peaceful. I've been well looked after, the service was lovely. The food was really tasty, having said that, I do think a few little more touches like a menu, access to separate toilets, those are the things that might make this premium food experience feel a bit more premium. But overall, a really pleasant journey. I've had a great time, I'm definitely flying with nice and premium. Well, there we have it. That was Premium Economy on this Delta 767-300. I was really impressed by that service. I thought it was great. I thought the seats were comfortable for a super old aircraft. Actually, it was way more comfortable than you might expect. Premium Economy is kind of new to some of the US airlines, and so it's even more interesting seeing what it was like. The food was more of an upgraded economy food experience rather than a downgraded business class one, which you see sometimes, but you did get an amenity kit, the better headphones, and the legroom and comfort was really a notch above what it was like down in the back end economy. But that was me on the Delta 767-300 in premium economy. Done.